Hello, now I am going to tell you about the frequency analysis of a beam. So let us first sketch the beam. So I am sketching a beam, a rectangular beam. dimension as that's okay <clears throat> so now for performing the frequency analysis we have to go into simulation express that is this command or you can go from tools also you can find in tools the simulation express over here so let us go for a new study and over here you can see there are certain options like static, frequency, buckling, thermal so from here we are going to use the frequency analysis now you can see we are having certain options uh, let us first of all define the material we can say we can have command apply material So as you can see, uh, these are the certain materials which are given in the list. You can find so many materials. So let's say apply and close it. So now we will fix the beam. Let's say I am going to fix this end of the beam. And uh, let us apply the forces also you can apply the force from here also let's say force and on this face and say ok now you can see uh, let's say you want to edit the loads so you go into edit definition and uh, initially it was 1 newton let's say change it to 10 newton so say ok and now you can see uh, we can create mesh from here but in the frequency analysis of the solid 2013 you need to change the solver for the frequency analysis so in the frequent in the properties of the study you just change this solver to the direct sparse and say ok now you just generate the mesh by cl clicking create mesh and let it be default one say ok it's generating the mesh and you can see the meshed part now we will go for the study that is the analysis let's say run the analysis now it's running the analysis and you can see uh, the result is going to come so these are the results so over here you can see the, the frequency analysis has given 5 mode shapes that is this one is first then second, third, and fourth, and fifth. So these are the different mode shapes that are obtained for a cantilever beam. So you can find the uh, displacements also 
uh, displacement for this and uh, we can animate this also uh, you just go in animate section by clicking right click and you can see it's showing how the beam has been deflected and how the mode shape has been taken if the load is applied so this is all about the frequency analysis thanks for watching this video do like this video thank you